and personal to be successful. That that you can appeal to the better angels of our nature, and you can win while doing it. Tonight, my very good friends, we prove that. I hope it is an inspiration to like-minded people to step up and pitch in, to get involved in the public life of this country, and to know that a positive, optimistic, hopeful vision of public life isn't a naive dream. It can be a powerful force for change. volunteers that made tonight happen. Over 80,000 Canadians got involved in the core of this campaign. They knocked on their neighbors' doors. They made phone calls. They sent emails. Hundreds of thousands more supported us actively with their friends and online. They convinced their neighbors and their families. And all of these people had one thing in common. They care deeply about their families, their communities, and their country. They believe that better is possible and that active citizens can play a real part in making it happen.
to make it happen. In coffee shops and in town halls, in church basements and in gurdwaras, you gather, you spend time together with us. And you told us about the kind of country you want to build and leave to your children. You have told us of your challenges in your daily life. You told us that it was becoming harder to meet both hands and to pay your bills at the end of the month. You told us that you were worried for your retirement. You told us that your communities needed investments. You told us that good jobs were rarer. You are the inspirations behind our program. You are the reason why we have worked so hard to reach the point we're at tonight. And you will always be at the heart of the government that we will form. Over the past three years, you told us what you're going through. You told us that it's getting harder and harder to make ends meet, let alone to get ahead. You told us you're worried about whether you'll be able to afford a dignified retirement. You told us that your communities need investment. You told us you need a fair shot at better jobs. You are the inspiration for our efforts. You are the reason why we work so hard to be here tonight. And you will be at the heart of this new government. message to you tonight, my fellow citizens, is simple. Have faith in yourselves and in your country. Know that we can make anything happen if we set our minds to it and work harder. Ce n'est pas moi. It is not me who wrote history tonight. You did. Don't let people tell you the contrary. I know that I'm here tonight for one reason. Because you have chosen me. I didn't make history tonight. You did. And don't let anyone tell you any differently. I know that I am on stage tonight. For one reason and one reason only, because you put me here. And you gave me clear marching orders. You want a government that works as hard as you do, one that is focused every minute of every day on growing the economy, creating jobs, and strengthening the middle class. One that is devoted to helping less fortunate Canadian families work their way into the middle class. You want a Prime Minister who knows Canada, is a country strong, not in spite of our differences, but because of them. A PM who never seeks to divide Canadians, but takes every single opportunity to bring us together. You want a Prime Minister who knows that if Canadians are to trust their government, their government needs to trust Canadians. A PM who understands that openness and transparency means better, smarter decisions. You want a Prime Minister that knows that a renewed nation-to-nation -nation relationship with Indigenous peoples 
that respects rights and honors treaties. Must be the basis for how we work to close the gap and walk forward together. To my to my compatriots tonight, together, we have chosen the way of commitment. We have chosen to recommit in a politics that is gathering and positive. We have chosen to commit in the governance of a country that reflects our values and our ambitions. We have chosen to trust and to invest in our future. In the next three years, in the last three years, I've spent much time to meet with you and to listen to you. You told me that you wanted a government that was open and transparent, a government that trusted its citizens, a government that was serving all Canadians. Tonight, it's the commitment I make before you. I will be the Prime Minister of all Canadians. We will form a government a government of integrity that will respect institutions and will collaborate with the provinces. And this will be the first principle of its actions. Dear Quebec friends, thank you. Tonight, Canada finds a little bit of itself. Of itself. And tonight, Quebec is really making a real return into the government of Canada.
a government that believes deeply in the diversity of our country. We know in our bones that Canada was built by people from all corners of the world who worship every faith, who belong to every culture, who speak every language. Thank you. Thank you. 